Okay, welcome to another edition of Lion News. Lion News can be found at lionnews00.blogspot.com. Today is uh, December 23rd, 2011. And uh, what are we doing today? Well, we've got an early Christmas present for those criminals down there in the lawless Pope County, Minnesota. Um, Christopher King called down there today and reconfirmed the fact that no prior warrant existed for uh, the illegal uh, entry, arrest, search, and imprisonment of myself on July 20th, 2007. All right. He originally called back in October, and uh, he had a return phone call on October 31st, 2011, which by a deputy, Jenny, who verified no prior warrant. All right. So the the criminals involved with this uh, home invasion is John Judge Johnny the Thief of Rights Staffschult, okay, Assistant Pope County Attorney Chad the Obstructor of Justice Larson, and Pope County Chief Deputy Timmy the Perjurer O'Reilly. Of course, now um, Riley is the sheriff, so he's the sheriff perjurer in charge of the county. All right, and of course you know they've been maliciously arresting me for engaging in legal acts because they're trying to shut me up because I won't shut up about the fact they broke in my home without a warrant. And they're nothing but a bunch of criminals. Okay? See? So that's, again, they love false arrests, they love lying under oath, they love creating fraudulent documents to submit to, into the court record, they love breaking into people's homes without a warrant. Alright? And again, this is all confirmed by Christopher King, who's a former Assistant Attorney General, an investigative reporter, okay, confirmed the fact that on July 24th, 2007, that this is a fraudulent document signed by Tim, Timmy the Perjurer Riley, seeing how there's no warrant, it was notarized falsely by Darnell Whittemore, seeing how she had constructive knowledge that there was no warrant, okay, Chad M. Larson approved the complaint on July 24th, with full knowledge that there is no warrant and on July 24th an order of detention was signed by Judge John the Thief of Rights Staffschult when he had full knowledge, constructive knowledge, that there was no warrant for July 20th, 2007. And that's what these people are scared to death about the public finding out about. Okay, it's Case number 61CR07599. And all you need to do is call down to the Lawless Pope County Court Administrator's Office, you know, 320-634-5222, and you can find out this information yourself. And that's the last thing these people want you to do, because this is all a matter of the public record, okay? which means anyone can access this information, anyone can find out that these people are a bunch of criminals, okay, that they break into your home without a warrant, that they create, that they uh, engage in perjury, that they create fraudulent documents, that they submit these fraudulent documents that contain perjured statements and submit them into the public record, or into the court record, for the judges to sign. And Judge John Staffschult, here it is again, he had no problem signing this fraudulent document with perjured statements on July 24th, 2007. Absolutely no problem with it at all. See, because he had constructive knowledge, which means all you do is ask. Well, he, the warrant should be right in front of his face. He should have known right there and then that no warrant had existed. But see, knowingly, willing, and willingly and intentionally signed this order of detention knowing that no prior warrant for July 20th, 2007 existed. All right? So, when uh, the video from Christopher King goes up, I will post the link in this video and also put it in the description box so you can watch the conversation that uh, Christopher King had with uh, Kelly here. All right? All right, thank you for your time.